Hey, this is Shay and welcome to Conan Exiles. Here we are, back again, trying to get to the Mesa base. I just died, lost all my stuff, and then I found this way, up there. Let's go. Now, you might be wondering why you cannot hear any uh, game sounds, and that's because this was recorded with my voice and game sounds, and then when I went to review the materials, there was no audio. And yeah, not, not a happy Shay, I can tell you now. But anyway, so here we are fighting and thrashing things. I've edited this down so you can kind of see how I got to where I wanted to go. It was a really important episode to me because it just showed exactly how I got there and I didn't get there by myself <laughs> because this game is pretty brutal. And as you can see, my health is really low. I still have a measly little stone sword and hide uh, armor. What is this? I found this, I don't know what it is, I can't get in there, but there are spiders everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And they're nasty because they shoot this poison at you, a crippling poison, and you basically can't run away until it sort of subsides. So what I tried to do is kind of jump around and slash at them. You know, in some games you can actually get away with doing that. But then these guys came along, these rockhead guys, and they are nasty, as you can see, with a spider on one side, rockhead on one side. It was nasty. So I came down here, crippling poison, dying, and I can't move. I'm glitching, like, like that. Which means can't move, can't jump, can't fly, can't land, can't anything. These guys are whacking at me, and um, I die. On a rock and I sink into the rock. So that wasn't very nice. I spawned back here and it says that I was killed by myself. <laughs> Which unless I was actually a rockhead, I'm not being killed by myself. So I'm running back as fast as I can, possibly to avoid all of the bad stuff. End up punching some hyenas because there's a certain point you get to where you just cannot run away from them. It's just not going to happen. Blood slashing everywhere. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? The hyena looks like he's chewing on my knees, which he probably is. But for some, somehow the blood reaches my hair and my arms, and I'm just like saturated in uh, his blood, my blood, who knows. I know that my body is just up over here, so I'm running hoping to avoid those spiders you can see up there in the rock up the top that's where all of the mobs were that were attacking me oh and crippling poison yep and i can't walk look at that sexy walk look at that bum she's so hot but that spider is not so hot because he keeps hitting me and i cannot run so i'm trying to jump and i'm trying to get over here to get to the to the place where i died it's not looking good for me guys not looking good. I just, I can't anymore. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Thankfully, I respawn. Don't respawn back at the beginning. I respawn back at my house. <laughs> this is my house. So now I have even further to go. So I put on some armor that had been given to me by some other members of the clan and I kept in my chests. And as you can see, I decided it was good to kill some exiles on the way. It's just to prove how strong I am and feel better about myself. And then um, one of the other members, uh, Friella, not actually a, it's actually a server member, but not a part of my clan, but it's friends with people in my clan said, can you help Shakira to get back to um, the base? So starving to death, had some food, look, and we meet each other. So um, just so you know, Friella is actually um, <laughs> controlled by a guy um, that is a female in game. Uh, apparently that's very common for this game, so it's something I've discovered. So he's helping me get to the base. We reach this point again, which is where my dead body is supposed to be, and the spiders are rife. I try and jump over them, so I try and time it so that when I'm jumping that they shoot me and I'm away from their thing. But here I'm losing stamina, I can't even fight. Um, I'm trying, but I can't. And then, out of stamina, lag and death <laughs> look at the antelope go flying I was killed by myself apparently again glitch I don't know back at home it's time to get going this time I've got some hide armor um, and probably like those fiber shoes where um 
carefully going up here I don't really have much on this body although it is clothed um, I, the things were left in that body because Friella had picked them up earlier so um, she has them on her now which is probably a good thing because you know if I'm gonna die then I'm probably gonna lose everything but I know my body is up here so I'm running as fast as I can to get up there seeing if I can see where it is I know it's up here somewhere there's that rock nose monster I'm just gonna avoid him and then I come down here and discover that there is no shea body there is no shea body I don't have a pickaxe either so I can't get rid of the rock um, I checked to see if Friella can um, and he has a go she has a go at killing the rock but there was nothing so we wait for night time to pass by just chilling out together, you know, as you do. And the sands, the great sands of the Conan universe. <sighs> and then it's time to go again. And the spiders are rife, which of course, I mean, it's good because Friella wanted to get some spider juice. But for me, I'm crouching because I was told that it got your stamina back up quicker. Um, it does, but really it's only like a matter the difference between just standing there and doing nothing and crouching to get your stamina back is only like a couple of seconds so you know I, I guess but I was in a rush I was like get me out of here across the sands this area is pretty um, sparse of any kind of resources but not sparse of mobs all sorts of mobs not just spiders and not just hyenas but you've also got these emu thingies these birds um, which are pretty crazy so we're coming up off of the hill, we've got to be really careful when you're fighting things like this because you can actually hit each other. And down across here, I remember this area because I'd been here once before and Friella stood here and says welcome home and I'm so excited because I'm safe. But it's a long journey up to the top of the rock. Thank you Friella for helping me get back here, it's amazing. So. Um, I've just done this quick, it's just kind of like the quick adventure up to the top um, and very nerve wracking because you've got to be so careful about where you step and um, avoid falling. Falling isn't an easy thing, to, falling is very easy to do. So I'm not really going as fast as I say I'm going, <laughs> or not really going as fast as I look up. That, that tower there is actually made by Bomb Diggity. And not long after this episode was recorded, someone came along and griefed him and um, tore down his tower. He was really upset. I mean, I didn't actually get to go over there and have a look at it. So I was a bit upset as well because I wanted to feature it on a video because it looks pretty badass. It looks amazing. Um, hopefully he'll build something else. But a lot of his stuff was taken and he was pretty upset. Here they're just giving me some extra um, stuff to wear. Armor stuff, um, arms and legs to protect myself, but out of all of the armor pieces, I think definitely think the hide armor, the light armor is definitely the nicest now. And here they awarded me an ancient Kapesh, Ooh, which is amazing. It's um, really powerful. Also an iron pike. They said, yeah, you can take an iron pike. So I took one of those. I didn't take it here. I took it a bit later on. Um, but yeah, the ancient Kapesh is amazing. And uh, yeah, we get to show off how beautiful it is. Look at me, look. Looks like like a like jagged lightning strikes or something. That's a nice view. <laughs> Feast your eyes. <laughs> so this guy, the, both of the guys there, there was um, Gallo and Fligo, and I think it might have been Deep, Deep Nature. He's another um, member. There was also Bomb Diggity. I can't actually remember. Out of the three guys, there were the one of those two were there. This was quite a while ago because. Um, actually having to edit this and do talking, talking over the top of it I just was like no I can't be bothered so anyway here we are all three of us we got our new um, shields and our swords this shield is actually a heat shield or something like that I can't remember what it's called but um, it's really strong and they they gave it to me I've actually lost it since then but anyway um, the other guy didn't have the, the shield but that's okay we got to stand together and have a nice selfie so yeah that, that felt really good. <laughs> so this is where they set up. They gave me like a special chest to stick all my stuff. And I was really happy because they also labeled it. They also put my name on it so they knew that it was me. Which is kind of a bit dodgy because like, you know, if someone that wasn't in our clan came along and saw it, they could just take my stuff. So here I am with the beautiful tower that does not exist in the background. This is the, the outfit's base. And look at this guy. He can dance. He can dance. 
Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Woo. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry for this horrible episode, but I wanted to get it out just to show you exactly where I got up to because the next episode is going to be a little bit more advanced. We've got a lot more stuff coming. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time in Conan Exiles.